What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total, my Napoleon Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to round off where we left off, the troops held within Amsterdam are sallying forth. And this will be the first... I think the first real... No, it can't be the first time. The first... I don't know, I didn't come, think about it. Might be the first actual battle, but not the first battle battle for Henry Clinton. Because I don't think I've used the Royal Scots Greys. At least very effectively. So let's crack on. Let's withstand this attack from the death. Hanover. I know they forced the Austrians out. But if they have... Hopefully, they've... Well, ideally they've been and we can advance on and take it. But if we haven't, I can deal with that. Because that means next turn we'll be able to isolate the Dutch. And that will be another faction uh, removed from the game. And that would mean that we can focus our efforts onto the Prussian menace. Pity about the rain. I probably want to do... Something like... This. And then let's get... Let's get these guys to be my centre. Group. Damn this weather soft. Wet powder makes this miles a certainty. Cheers, pal. I pretty much want to just... Oh, that's a terrible position, really. These guys may end up on the, up on this hill. That might not be a bad idea, actually. If I take my formation like this... It's not a great formation with shooting over towards the left, but then again, that's what th those batteries are going to be great for. So let's redeploy you guys over here. Good, because I want to take that hill behind me. So you're there. Grenadiers and the culture stream guards are in the centre. Let's have a look at the culture stream guards. See, I think I still just prefer the regular old foot infantry with the regular shakos. I think I just prefer them. And then... So you're deployed, but not really. You're going to move up ready. Take a position there. Chap's going to take up a position here with a light foot over here. Let's go much shorter. Let's put a, a Dragoon here. King's General Legion in the centre just to kind of be ready. Let's have a look at the Scots Greys. Brilliant. So then let's put you probably up on the northern edge. You've, you're, this is the light that's not deployed. There we go. Then my two howitzers. Oh, I deployed my howitzers in my line, I see. There we go. And then general staff under this tree. Grouped units can be set to one of several fixed group formations. Following Click on the group formations button to the left of center on the battle control okay, panel not... to select a formation. Quiet, Vader. Everyone's ready to rock and roll. Well, they're not in range yet because they are. They are sallying out. So let's get a bit of triple speed on. And I will want to move you ever so slightly. And to be honest, I think once I get these guns unlimbered, they should be within range to start causing some damage and doing some mischief. So if I did something like. Okay, hold on, I need to pause. Regular speed. Yeah, you can open fire. Not sure at whom. Well, they're just out of range. God, if I get my howards in the range of there, that'd be beautiful. 
but it speeds up because the AI is going to redeploy and jiggle around and it should be a bit of a nuisance mainly because they're selling out to attack me so I don't really want to what weird what? this is I don't get this ah <laughs> oh. Are they just going to suddenly go blah, and just run towards me, maybe? So there's the Jaeger. They're the ones to watch out for. I don't think they completely know what they're going to do. Okay, they look like they're moving up now, which is what I want to see. Ooh, and the Jaegers are going to get the, be the first ones to take hits. As they should, because they're the light infantry, and do they? They outrange my light foot, because they got range 170. However, they will be the first targets of my artillery. So they're wandering along, having a grand old time. An absolute miss. So where's my howitzer going to start dropping shells on them? When they leave the safety of the town. Okay. Let's keep... Let's keep triple speeding it. Now with these guys, I may as well just... I may as well just barrage them. Because they don't, I don't really have... I never really get to barrage all that often anyway. Excellent shot. Okay, let's get you to target these guys, and let's get ready to commit the light, commit the Royal Scots Greys. Or don't. That's okay too. So far, I might put my light infantry a bit further up in the trees. Artillery is getting involved now. Ooh. So they're missing and it's out of range, but they're lobbing shells over this house. Over the town. You see that? See there? Skirmish order is. Ooh. Okay, they're moving up. So, probably going to get both of you guys to hit the Jaegers just to do some damage to them before they get into combat so who's that on that flank arm citizenry the other batteries are going to go too Quite elite. I've got three, three chevrons. <laughs> Beating a general retreat, sort of. So let's just try to speed it up again. God, what are they doing? Okay, right. So my artillery's quite happy up on that hill. Limber up my howitzers. Let's take these guys, limber them up probably somewhere over here. And then let's present a more enticing challenge.
Okay, let's run you chaps. Go up to those dragoons. So they're definitely attacking me. Well, both of you barrage for it, I suppose. They're just going to stand there. There goes their general. Both of you units form a square. So get out of square. Oh no, they've come back. Get us all out of square because this is just silly. Let's move up. Let's take. guys like so let's get the light foot inside the house let's move the houses up you may may actually be a better place just to go here because I don't want them to walk in front of these guns and put them off capture those horses they're good good bounty Let's go. Okay, there's the. There are the Jaegers. Make them close distance. Then, when close enough, <clears throat> then when they start to get close enough, run my chaps. So by the time they make up, get up to this position, they will be ready. Remember these guys. Don't go too crazy with the cavalry just yet. We have taken the building, sir. Damn right we have. Okay, no, don't do that. No, actually, do do that. Oh no, don't worry. Save your breath. Actually, instead, work your way around the rear. Good. Okay, so you need to... Both of you need to redeploy at an angle, because it looks like you'll be firing onto their main block of infantry. Let's get my light infantry up here. Take my cavalry over there. Infantry's returned. Let's 
So let's put my howitzers to support the engagements in the town. Where the hell are you going? You form up back here, form up here, then run into position over here. I'm really giving us the run around the AI this time. Chaps are going to be on their own somewhat. The general in the centre. You start running. Commit my cavalry into their light horse. You hit their militia. These two units probably want to fall back like this to not get overpowered. There goes the cavalry combat. I'm not even going to worry about getting these guys out of the square. Some dragoons over here. He'll be fine. Good, so their infantry's falling back. So how goes my dragoons? Get them out, because they're taking more casualties than they need to against that casual against that militia unit. Leg it. If they'll let you, that is. Let's get the dragoons back. Let's get the Scots Greys back, because they're my. Militia needs to do work. No, they're going to tie you up, so you may as well. Oh no, they might let you get away. The armed citizenry is going to route through our lines and we'll get massacred. As did another unit by the looks of it. But yes, they go deploy there. You get into a position to just keep pressuring the town. Let's get my light infantry out too. Damn militia unit, but they are wavering at least. Of gunfire into their gun teams. Stretch your lines out a bit more. Colony third foot fire into that line infantry garrison. 
There we go. Front rank, nail. Second rank, fire. Beautiful. Let's get this cavalry back over on this flank safely. I don't want my dragoons to get caught up with all this line infantry. Then they can hit that unit in the in the rear. You go in too. Assuming these chaps won't be here, try secure this hill. Go on, Henry Clinton, chase after some of those damn militiamen. His armed citizenry. <laughs> Pretty terrible positioning. You guys, go in to turf them out. Okay, so you need infantry support. Pretty bad position, really. But... Scale retreat. There we go. May as well just turn off my artillery full stop. If I don't have lots of cavalry running around the place, I'd probably like to just go straight into him. You know, the 85th Regiment of Foot's taking a bit of a pounding. However, their square will not stand. Their flank is crumbling. Their standard will become ours. Get away! Oh well, it's a very... Oh, let's just end that battle there. That was quite comprehensive and we shall then... Anything they can stop me. Look at that. 600, 600 losses for 4,700 kills. Feel free to interfere away, my friends. It will not do you any good. Ah, oh, they've captured. They did capture that territory. I am bankrupt from having that one region be captured. Be blockaded. George Elphinstone and your navy. Go over there and clear out that annoying Prussian fleet too. 
don't bother with that. Let's go that ship of the lion. Then go hit Alexis Jacobi, because you know that'll be there. Port of Call 2. Excellent. Sadly I do I do have a bit of money to spend. And if I take you, good sir, move you out of Paris. Okay, then move you in. Minus one, I can handle that. Then you get your backside to the front. Because you will be needed. Who are you? Anton Wilhelm von Lestock. August von Neisenau. These guys have walls. Okay, so I think the next thing on the docket to do is to take Henry. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Pretty damning. Let's just take it. So I want to, I'd like to okay, I'm, what I want to do is I want to loot it. In diplomacy. Minor nations, Kingdom of Belgium. This is friendly. Let us trade. I will give you can be ceded to or demanded of another nation. Holland. Select a region from the lists in the center of the panel. I'm assuming you have nothing to give, no, but I'm going to give you to either offer or demand the specified region. Maybe those two. And I can re I'll just take it. There you go, creating a greater Belgian alliance. And I can replenish from their territory. So then you go over here, sir, and cover the bridge. You are now in a position to take cleaves. Maintain for now, just to make sure everything that can be done is being done. Okay, I'll move you to this. Okay, so what have you got? 12 pounders, 6 pounders, Prussian guards, musketeers, Swiss line, lots of line. Let's put you on this here bridge. We only have six pounders, so if they stand off and pick at us, they might cause some trouble. Let's upgrade you to a drill school. Equestrian estate. You're replenishing and you're still building. So the key is where did this army go down south? Did you go to Garrison Innsbruck? You did. Michael Schnitzer. And do you have... You have no defences. So this army, which was going to go south to take Corsica, now has no need to, and instead will move up to hit Innsbruck, and this cavalry troop will go back to raid the gunsmith. So we'll secure our approach to the south, and ultimately to the east as well. That, my friend, is what you are for, William de Dornberg. So what sort of garrison will Venice get? A mediocre garrison. Where's your artillery being recruited? Not from Milan, which is frustrating. But you need to go lay siege immediately. Advance rapidly and do as much damage as possible. I'd also like... Scoop my cannon frigates, my frigate fleet. Uh, let's not directly repair you there. Let's just take George Elphinstone. Oh, I can't take George Elphinstone. But you are being repaired. Are you still growing your navy? No, you are not. Okay, I want to get two for third rates. Because I would like to shut this straight as quickly as possible. I don't know how the enemy, how, well, the, what this, um, what Napoleon's like when it comes to assaults. So, it's going to be two more units of foot line here. God, 
God, yeah, you're my, you're the absolute evilest looking person I've ever seen. Ah, so you're the guy. So the artillery is going down here. It's going to be recruit, recruit, being recruited. No, oh, no, it's being recruited in Marseille. It's better. Okay, what I want to do is. So we're going to be building an artillery unit, so then get build some more artillery, build some more foot, because I'm going to need to start to uh, quite aggressively push. So now I th now I have my allies, the Dutch or the Belgians. These two chaps. Oh, yeah, you're going to go down to join this loose coalition. Oh, okay. So you're... Okay, so you, Wellesley, may fall back to the bridge this side of Strasbourg. It will leave Stuttgart isolated. But the risk is if I leave them here, they will bypass me and take Strasbourg. I cannot risk it. I move you just out of the way. My spy can make way. So you, General... Are you just a captain? I think he's a general. He's got a nice swish coat. Try to sabotage his army. Put Wellesley back on the bridge. Good. You need to make haste. Cool. So I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. Oh, you're quite knackered, actually. Bob Crawford, you might pull back. You need to replenish, my good sir, and you're the one that's building the artillery. You continue your push towards Hamburg. This guy in Holland. Get on to Stettin. Good. There's a chance these guys may flank around to try to get to Copenhagen, but I think we should be okay. Research and tech. Four turns to rifles. Twelve turns to all that because we've just because Florence requires a bit of build-up. Looks like Milan's going to be a bit unhappy about it, but they will deal with it. So then let's hit and turn and see what happens. So Nelson's in port or Nelson's raiding. The Russians are on the move, the Austrians are here, but unfortunately the Austrians aren't my allies in this war, which is rather frustrating. But at least they're not my enemies, I suppose. Oh, I do want to take that. Because you've got six pounders, all six pounders, and a handful of line. I think I want to take that, I want to ambush the Prussians. Hopefully in a bridge battle, but we'll soon find out. Anyway, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of his part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time when we get to spill some Prussian blood.